Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. Today's video is on the ACMA P233 watt laser. So this is a follow-up video. I previously brought out a video a few months ago, so do head over and check that out. Um, I also have a written article on this, so if you want to see any of the information, settings and projects that I did with that, feel free to check out the description for that. So today we're going to focus on the enclosure. So in a minute up in the top hand corner, you'll see a quick time lapse of me putting that together. Like I say, nice and easy, clear instructions. Um, this is an additional um, purchase if you do get the 33 watt laser. Being an open laser, I would always suggest doing that. The enclosures do help with workspaces unless you have really good extraction. Now talking about extraction, over to the corner there we have the ACMA air filtration unit, which I do have hooked up to the enclosure. Just in the corner there you have the extraction fan drawing out and then a pipe to the extractor and the, inf and the filtration unit. Now I do have an external extraction unit, but I wanted to focus on the capabilities of the enclosure that you can purchase and the air filtration unit, um, which I'll leave links in the description for both of those additional items. Um, and the retail price is quite, um, for me, quite decent considering the actual power of that, which I've been using and let me tell you, pretty decent um, for what it does. And it also means that it's versatile as to where you can put your laser so you can move it about your um, studio or if you've got it in your home. So on the enclosure, you do have two panels. So you have the uh, front facing panel so you can see the project. I have um, added um, an LED light in there that didn't come with the enclosure itself. That was something that I added and all that did was it just gives me more visibility in there. Up, up the top, you also have an additional view panel. So if you're working at a lower height, for me, I'm working almost at um, waist sort of uh, shoulder height. So it's good that I've got this front panel here. Um, we have the um, air pump on the side. So that helps with cutting and keeping the smoke down. That actually come with the unit. So you don't have to purchase that. The honeycomb bed is of another brand, but you can also purchase that as an additional item. Once again, that did not come with the base unit. Now, what we're gonna do is we'll do a cut. I'll show, I'll show the qualities of that. Then we'll take a quick dive into what the air filtration looks like. The enclosure is fairly basic in terms of putting it together. So we won't focus too much on that, apart from the fact of its main features, which we'll show later on in the video. So today's video is really based around the enclosure, um, the air filtration, and a few little projects that I'm gonna be cutting with there just to show what my thoughts are months down the line of being able to use this product. Um, but initial um, thoughts on this, that it's been really capable of every project that I've thrown at it, being a 33 watt laser as well. And these heads are interchangeable and they do have various ratings, so you can change that. And they also have an IR laser, which you can add to this. So it improves the usage of this laser. So let's head over to the computer screen, check out the project that I'm gonna be working on that. We'll take a look at its capabilities, what it does, and then we'll go from there. So stay with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also check out the video sponsor, Today's video sponsor is PCBWay.com, so let's hear from them. PCBWay are a PCB board manufacturer. You have different selections, so you can select PCB prototype, PCB assembly, FPC rigid flex, advanced PCBs, CNC and 3D printing, and SMD stencils. They also have an assembly service promotion on at the moment, so click on that. It's giving you an option for one to 20 pieces assembly. So definitely check out and quote for that. So they cover worldwide delivery. So if you've got an amazing project you want covered and you want a PCB board or any type of 3D printing, they are the team for you. Check them out, click on the chat, give them a shout. That's PCB Way, today's video sponsor. Okay, so now we're at the computer, we're using Lightburn and we've got this wooden um, cut laser file that we're gonna put onto the um, ACMA P233 watt laser. 
So I've done some tests and run it at about 500 speed and 100% power. And it's telling me that if I click up on this little computer screen up the top here, it tells me that the file is going to take about 11 minutes to cut. You can check on here if you want and it just tells you the path it's going to take. So nice and easy using Lightburn. So let's head over to that now and take a look at how that cuts. So we're over at the um, laser. Now I wanted to show you how much smoke is in there without the actual extraction unit on. So it's a fair amount of smoke. So let's go over to the extraction unit, turn that on to full power, and then you'll see how quickly that draws out. And I think that gives a really good indication on how powerful that is. Now it's quite noisy at the moment because we've got the air pump running, um, but as you can see, even with this front panel open, it's um, drawing quite a lot of that back. If I was to actually shut this up, like so, pretty much most of that is being drawn back. Probably not as easy to see, but as you can see, not as much smoke. Now, if I would undo that again and take a look in, it's not as bad as it was a minute ago. And that is on full power over here. So let's take a look at the um, air filtration unit whilst it's actually in use. And as you can see over here, it's making that cut now. And we'll take a look at that once it's complete. Okay, so over at the air filtration unit, up the top is where the extraction comes in from the side of the um, enclosure up through here, in through layers of different um, carbon filters and particle filters and stuff like that. What we'll do at the end, we'll take a look inside. At the front here, you've got the indication to say that the um, air filtration is in use. Over here is you've got a minimum and maximum draw level. So if you don't have a lot of um, smoke coming out of that, you don't really need to go too um, heavy on that. You can slow the draw down. Over here you have a timer. So I have it on off, so I literally just program it to um, run when I need it to. But over here, if you wanted it to turn off after a period of time, say for instance, your um, cut file or um, any laser project that you're working on has quite a lot of like nasty fumes in there, but you don't want to stay with it. You can have that running for up to um, two hours, taking out away all those like nasty particles, uh, fumes, etc. And I think this is brilliant for internal use. Um, at the back of this machine, you have like the airflow, so obviously it's going in and then being extracted out. And that has a real powerful draw on that. Something that I was really impressed with this is also it's metal nice and easy to use so at the side here on both sides you have clamps takes off and you can replace the inside um, with the activated carbon etc so as you can see let's go back over to the laser cut file it's quite a decent size um, piece of wood and it's cutting through that really really nicely so at the end of this video, we'll take a look at that and see how it's come out. But having used this ACMA, um, I have had quite a few to um, review on my channel. So I appreciate that from the ACMA team for taking the time to send over these for me to review, to bring to my subscribers what my thoughts are on them. But this particular model has really blown me away on how powerful it is, how versatile, um, etc. So let's take a look at that once it's complete. Okay, so the project has been completed. So what we're gonna do is just unhook it from these clamps and we'll test out whether this has cut through okay. I did do a test um, run here at that speed, so it should be okay. There might be some areas that haven't quite punctured through. If you Normally, if you take a look at the back, you can see there are areas that haven't quite um, punctured through, so I probably should have done it slightly quick, um, slower, so maybe not 500, but 400. But we'll see how it fares at the end of it. If not, we'll rerun that test at a slower speed. Um, like I say, I did run a test um, 
prior to that. But sometimes you might find that the wood um, might have thicker spots or um, knotting on it. So let's take a look at that in a minute. Okay, as you can see, that has been completed. This is four mil birch plywood, and that cut in about 15 minutes at 350 speed and 100% power. Um, and that's cut through that really well with the air assist and the um, extraction unit and this enclosure that really helps with any scoring. And you, as you can see, that's pretty come out. It's come out with barely any sort of burn marks and scorching, which obviously anyone who normally laser cuts, the scorching really does sometimes destroy the, the actual um, aesthetics of it. So let's take a look at the enclosure. As I said, I actually added a light at the corner. You have the extraction. Um, you can run that um, normally. Um, but with the air extraction, that takes out quite a considerable amount anyway, so you don't really need to use that. Over this side, you've sort of got some air vents, so um, I think you can probably add in some um, wires through there. I actually run in through here because that's where all the connection points are. Um, once again, you've got the two uh, visual panels, so both of those are zipped. The whole enclosure is zipped, so it's really easy to put together, as you see earlier on in the video. And then once again, the front. What we're going to do now is take a look at the actual air extraction and see what sort of particles we've got from that cut. I have used it a number of times, so the actual um, scoring and marks on there will be from a number of cut projects rather than just this one. Okay, so taking a look at the extraction, you can see I've removed the upper pipe. That's just on a clamp system, so nice and easy. You can see that there is quite a bit of debris in there now. So on each side, you've got these clamps. So all you've got to do is unlatch those, nice and easy. At the front, you've got the display panel. And on the back, you've got the air vents, the power connection, etc., and some ratings. So let's just take a look at what it looks like on the inside. There you go. So as you can see, it does take quite a lot of the um, fumes and, and particles out of there. This is sort of a quite a considerable sized um, filter, and you can lift that out. And what we'll do is we'll lift that out and take a look inside to see what it looks like in there. Okay, so now we've taken that out. You can see the whole filter is pretty big. Um, these are actually replaceable. Um, you get a few spares in that pack. Then you've got the inner filter here, which can be taken out as well just by lifting these tabs. Um, and inside you have the activated carbon on the other side. So let's take a look at the bottom. As you can hear, the activated carbon um, is in there. Inside, so like I say, it'll be worthwhile banging those out every so often, hoovering any sort of debris, even washing them out. Inside you have the, obviously, the extraction air blower, filter, um, that's going to draw all that through and that is running at some speed. Um, like I say, nice unit, decent material um, and well built for the job. So um, anyone who's using this is going to be really pleased um, and that is by ACMA as well. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's uh, video on the ACMA P233 Watt Laser Enclosure and the Air Extraction Unit. I thought I'd give you a quick update video on my thoughts on this um, and the enclosure and show a bit more in depth on both of those. Um, my thoughts after a few months of using this is probably one of my better lasers that I'm using at the moment. It is a 33 watt laser head, so capable of doing you know, some really good projects as you've just seen here. Um, I didn't want to go too deeply into projects because obviously I'd already done a previous video. I wanted to focus more on the enclosure and the capabilities of the air extraction unit, the insides of it and what it's capable of doing. 
Um, like I say, I'll leave a link in the description for both of those two items. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, thanks to ACMA for sending this over to me to review. Um, and also check out the article that I've got in it. Like I say, all of these links will be in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel for 3DP UK Tech Channel. Take care, everyone. See you all soon.